I may not have all the right answers, but I sure have all the floor answers. What's good, baby? It's your boy, Flynn Flossy, F. Floors, Flynn Flow Double. You feel me? Can't forget my right hand beard, Fur Flossy. You feel me? You know what I mean? Another episode of Ask the Floors, you know? Have a lot of questions that's piled up, so I'm gonna get right to it. But like I said, I don't got all the right answers. I just got the floor sense, you feel me? So let's get to the first question. All right, so this is from Charlie. Flint Floors, man, I've been a big fan of your music for a while, and I generally agree with your advice. I have a situation, and I feel like I already know what you're about to say. I've been seeing this girl for a couple months now, and I've been on multiple dates with her. However, it seems like she never makes time for me and I only see her when it's super convenient for her. You feel me? Like I'm not a priority for her. Normally I wouldn't be tripping, but she says things like she really likes me and such. So my head says move on because she's just playing with me, but my heart wants to think she's sincere. Help, Floors. Do you think she's just playing with me? All right, check this out, Charlie. Look, right now, y'all not official. Y'all still date, y'all in the dating phase right now. You know what I mean? And you know, the dating game is, is, is it's a jungle out there, man. So you gotta play your options, cause right now what she's doing, she's playing her options. She's playing the field, you feel me? She doesn't wanna tell you that, but from what you telling me, that's what it's looking like. What's going on right now is you are accessible. You know, this kind of goes back to what I was talking about, what a Sam Safety is. A Sam Safety, the guy who a woman uses for emotional support when she's at her most vulnerable state, mainly because he's convenient and accessible. Being that you're always there, and you know, you kind of fighting for her time, she's at a point where she's like, yo, all right, he's already there. You know what I'm saying? He's in the back pocket. Like right now, like she's like a, she's like a, a, a master chef right now, right? She got this meat. This meat is named Charlie, you feel me? She's seasoning the meat, you know what I'm saying? She putting, some, she putting some onion powder on that thing, you know, whenever she need it, you feel me? And what she's doing is she's getting it ready, putting it in the freezer. So when she's ready to come to it, it's going to be there, you feel me? So when she says she likes you and stuff like that, she's not necessarily lying. It's not necessarily that she's playing you, but she's, you know, seasoning you up. She's keeping you there. She's keeping you entertained. So if her other options doesn't work out, you know what I'm saying? Whatever she got going on or it gets to the point where she really feels you, she has you to come to, you know? So you're there. So what you gotta do, Charlie, man, like, look, man, straight up, like, don't wait on her. You day two, you play your options, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, the other woman is what it is. Y'all not official, so she can't really get mad. You know what I mean? You do that, and she gonna start appreciating you even more when she does have you. You know what I mean? She's gonna value you even more, and that's what you want. You know what I mean? Be that seasoned meat where it's like, yo, you can't cook me anytime. You feel me? You can't cook me anytime you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a timeline, I got a timeline. You feel me? And that's what it is. Next question. Okay, Emily from Canada. Hey, Flint Flo. I recently moved to England to be with my boyfriend, and ever since we've been here, he's changed. He never wants to spend time with me and always complains when I tag along with him and his friends. He knows I came here to be with him, and I love him, but I just don't know what to do. Should I go back to Canada or stay and work things out? I need your help, Emily. Okay, so check this out, Emily. First off, you know, Floss is a fighter for love, baby. You know, I'm all for fighting for something that's real. And you know, from what y'all tell me, you got you got something real. Like, you're not gonna move all the way to a country, another country, just for some good sex. You know what I mean? Like, yo, like, it gotta be something now. Something, there gotta be some kind of love if you move into another country, you feel me? So with that being said, let me tell you what he's probably feeling. I, let me tell you what you're probably feeling, you know? So right now, you're probably like, yo, I moved all the way to another country for this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I proved I love them. You know, I packed my bags and I moved all the way to England for this dude. Like, yo, he should know. Like, he should make time for me. You know, being that, like, yo, I changed up my whole lifestyle for him. I left my family, everything to be with this dude. You know, that's how you probably feel. You know, so it probably gets frustrated. I get it. Trust me. So he's probably thinking like, yo, I love this girl, man. You know, I really love Emily, but yo, I need my space. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you about dudes. You could be the flyest chick ever. You know what I'm saying? Sexiest girl. It don't matter. Doing everything right. But sometimes a dude just needs to be away and be a dude. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like, yo, man, you know, I love her to death, but I just need some testosterone. I just need my homies around me right now. You know, straight testosterone. You know what I'm saying? Let me take a break from the estrogen a little fast. You know what I mean? And 
that's where he's at. So it's kind of like he has no kind of real escape. You know what I mean? So because like if you, you know what I'm saying, always with the, the friends and stuff like that, it's kind of like, yo, I'm with a 24-7. So let me tell you my solution, my idea. You feel me? Like, first off, communication is everything. You got to be like, yo, let them know how you feel. Like, yo, I moved out here all the way over here for you. You know what I'm saying? I love you. I did this for you. You know what I mean? Like, so we can be together. He gonna, he gonna understand that, you know? But be like, yo, I'm feeling kind of neglected. He's gonna understand that as well. But, you know, make, make it known, like, yo, I'm gonna do what I can to really, you know, give us our space. You know what I'm saying? Because I want this to work. It's a new day and age. You feel me, baby? Like, yo, there's social clubs out there you can join. There's, you know, the internet is crazy. You know, you can join some new hobbies or new clubs or, you know, Bowling teams or whatever. Maybe you like knitting. Maybe you like, you know, I don't know, chasing mics. I don't know. There may be something you might like to do. You know what I mean? And, and you know, there's clubs out there for that. You know what I mean? Find some friends. You know, dudes like when you have friends. Good friends. Not though. We don't like when y'all have those gossiping, you know, evil friends that tell you all the wrong stuff. No, cool girls that could, you know, y'all could spend time, occupy your time is what it is. But at the end of the day, if it gets to the point where it's like, yo, I tried. I'm about to lose my mind out here, yo. I'm still not happy. Then you're going to have to sit down with him and communicate. You feel me? Like, yo, I'm not happy. You feel me? And if he can't sacrifice, he can't adjust you, then, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You know? And I, you know, and he can't get really mad at that. You feel me? And that's what it is, baby. Like I said, I'm going to fight it for love. Fight first. You feel me? You know what I mean? So there it is, baby. Another ax of force. So keep sending them questions, and I'm gonna try my best to get to every single one of them. You know what I mean? The floor's kids. <laughs> and you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm going to extra step. I'm gonna open an Axe and Floors hotline. The Axe and Floors hotline, 323-207-8378. So text me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, call, you know, I may answer, you never know. <laughs> but, um, and I'm going to try my best to get back at you. You feel me? Like I said, I don't got all the right answers, but I sure have all the floor sets. I may not have all the right answers, but I sure have all the floor senses. <laughs>